Hi friends, welcome back to the Video Peak. I'm your stylist, Shauna Rose, and we've got some fabulous new clothes. <laughs> Look at this beautiful blouse. So comfortable. It's got the line right here that cuts right across where my headlights are. <laughs> and a lot of times I don't like that, but really it hangs nice and close to the body and it doesn't give that pregnant look that a lot of baby doll tops give. So I really like it. What do you think? It's got that hippy dippy vibe that I really like. Although I'm wearing it with bell bottoms right now, I think it's gonna be really cute with skinny jeans and high boots. What do you think? How would you wear it? The same top comes in the green and the mustard, still mixed with the cream and the lavender and that adorable boho chic vibe. I threw on this fun little necklace. I thought that gave it just a pop of interest. And these fun little earrings, pretty cute, huh? Just a heads up, I've already sold out of the large. We only have small and medium left. I'm wearing a medium, just to give you an idea of how it fits. How cute is this adorable sunshine yellow furry little coat? Isn't that so cute? Oh yes. The softness is off the hook. That is what you think it feels like is exactly what it feels like. It is silky. It's not even like butter. It's like oil. <laughs> it's like satin. Your hand just slides right off of it. So it's got a hood, which I love in case it's super windy or rainy or birds fly by. <laughs> it also has pockets. Everything with pockets is more valuable instantly just because it has a pocket. Look at this beautiful lining. So gorgeous. So this is a one size fits whoever it fits. I wonder if it's you. Since we're going into holiday season, I wanted to get some darker colors and some tops that we could wear for a holiday gathering, but also in our everyday life. So I thought this long sleeve was perfect. If you decide you love this top, but you also want it in the blue, please let me know. As long as they have it, I will get it for us. One thing I didn't realize was that all of this beautiful detail here, it actually is quite plunging. <laughs> so unless you're wanting to give everybody a show, you're gonna have to wear a bralette that covers up or a tank top. I will show you what it looks like in all of its glory with nothing under <laughs> and now here it is with a camisole under <laughs> so first you got to see it with nothing under now you get to see it with a camisole under the camisole makes it much more appropriate for many more occasions it's mineral washed I don't know if you can tell the color, but it's sort of like a Merlot mixed with black. Very stretchy, comfortable, covers the Stargate and most of the cupcakes. Also looks cute with a belt. Although we are entering holiday season, it's still beautiful outside. I mean, it was 82 degrees out yesterday and I'm not really wanting to wear the warmer clothes, the furry clothes, the darker clothes. So I thought this was the perfect piece to get us through transition. We have this nice dark gray right through the midsection, which is super flattering. It definitely gives the illusion that we're smaller here. And then we have these fun, beautiful colors with the aqua and the pink. It's sort of a very pink lavender. Great sleeve length, stretchy. I would say somewhat thin. You can kind of see my hand through there, but really you can't tell when it's on. So that's great. Look at this adorable necklace, super cute. Threw on a fun little simple earring to pick up from the gold beads. Throw it on with a pair of jeans and you're out the door. 
Not everybody has one of these, but everybody should have one of these. <laughs> I try to keep these in stock as often as possible. Look at that fun fringe. Because I'm telling you, I try to get them and they're sold out. So when they do have them, I'm all over it. I threw on a fun little necklace, threw on a belt. You don't have to do any of that. I just have a basic cami underneath, nothing special at all. A pair of jeans, nothing we haven't seen before. But this is the piece, this is the piece that's gonna add that extra interest to your outfit that's gonna make you stand out and look as special and as beautiful as you are on the inside. Look at that, so cute. Mineral wash black and the sleeves are generous. You can see that it's not very tight. So if you do have a bigger arm, this is gonna be nice and fitted and it's gonna look even better than this does, in my opinion. So this is something that you could totally wear to a holiday occasion, but also anytime you want. Casual fabric with a fabulous cut. So you can really dress it up or dress it down. But if you really want to dress it up, add one of these. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a rhinestone cowgirl. <laughs> Look at this fabulousness. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything like it before? Because I know I haven't. <laughs> I had to have one. It was the only one they had left in this fabulous rainbow color combo. Otherwise, it would have been blue or gold or white or silver, but none with all the rainbow color. And I thought, I don't know who you are out there, but I know you have to have this and I'm getting it for you. <laughs> But what a fun outfit. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And talk about a hat to remember. I mean, nobody's gonna forget that hat. Once they see you in it, they're never gonna forget you. Because people don't remember what you say and what you do, but they remember how you made them feel. And this hat is gonna make people feel so happy and so giddy. <laughs> So whose hat is this? I'm so curious. One of these days, the weather is going to change. It's going to get cooler and we're gonna to want to have something that we haven't worn before in our closet. This adorable sweater is actually a plus size. So keep that in mind. I'm wearing the smallest one there is and you can see that it hangs really cute, but there's plenty of room in here for it to fit a larger body type. You don't have to be a plus size to fit into this. I'm normally like anywhere between a small, medium, and large. I tend to go medium, but mediums can oftentimes do small or large. So you can see that it's fitting me great. There's not too much room under the arm because it's not a dome and cut. So it goes, doesn't add extra room under there. There's a lot more room on the shoulders, so if you wanted to drop it off one of the shoulders, you could. If you wanna tie a knot, the fabric is thin enough that you can do that. I just love this print. It looks like they took paint and stamped it on, so you have some points of interest, but it's not too busy. It's not really gonna take away from you and your beautiful face. It's gonna give just enough interest to make everybody go, Ooh, how cute. <laughs> Winter is coming and we are going to be prepared. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Look at this thing. Look at that print. Look at that furry inside. Look at those pockets, pockets. <laughs> I'm so excited about this coat. I definitely got one for me. They're one size fits most, so that either fits you or it doesn't. And I just love this. I mean, this is like something I'm gonna keep forever and ever. I love the soft furry lining. I love the pockets. This is just so cute. And even though it's not cold here in Southern California, you might be traveling out of state somewhere where it is cold. This is gonna be perfect. Come and get it. 
This could very easily be my favorite thing of the whole buying trip, even though there's so many fabulous pieces. But something about this just struck me as I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's just a fishnet duster. It's kind of this weird like khaki color where you can't tell, is it brown, is it green, what is it? And because of that, I really don't have the perfect underneath top because if I had the perfect thing, I would most likely pull from these tie-dye colors, the purple and the teal, and have that pop out here. It's got that nice slit on the sides. It's got the pockets. And I did put one of the magnetic pins here to keep it closed, because otherwise it doesn't close on its own. And if I had the right tank top, it wouldn't be so tight and I wouldn't need it to be closed. The fit, if I'm gonna wear it open, I'm gonna want it to be a little bit more loose, but that's what's so nice about these magnetic pins that if you don't have the right underneath piece, you won't need it anyways. So cute. If you've been shopping with me for a long time, you know what a circle vest is and I am wearing one. And what's great about this is that you can wear it over tops that have long billowing sleeves. I'm not wearing one of those right now, so you can't tell, but it's great. It's basically a circle. This fabric is one big circle with two smaller circles cut into it for our arms. Doesn't it just have a fabulous cut? It hangs well, it moves well, it's acrylic, so it's easy to take care of and it's not itchy. I just love them and I have them in a few different colors. Cream, army green, black, mustard, purple. You tell me what color you need and I'll get it for you. Check out our new selection of magnetic pins. They're all so unique and fabulous, made by a local artist. And the circle vest is a perfect opportunity for me to show you how these magnetic pins work. You slide the magnet off the back. Some of them are very strong, so you have to be careful not to pinch your fingers. You put your garment together where you'd like to hold it, and you use it as if you had a button there to close your jacket. Isn't that so cute? The magnetic pins are great for cardigans, jackets, hats, purses, boots. You can just be as creative as you want to. Scarves, you can even use them to pull your top down to create a plunging neckline. They're just great to have on hand. Again, they are made by a local artist, so you will be getting a one-of-a-kind piece that you won't see anywhere else. For the rest of the video, I'm going to just be modeling, so no talking. <laughs> I'm just going to model the pieces that I got with holiday in mind. So all of them are the third piece, which means you're going to have like a tank top, a pair of pants, and then you'll add the third piece to create the whole look for your holiday gathering. This is the first one. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's got some reflective gold in it. And I got the same one in red. Let the fun begin.
Hi friends, welcome back to another self-love pep talk. I don't know about you, but I need lots of reminders to stay healthy all the time. <laughs> why is it so easy to forget? Why is it so easy to get off track? You know why? Because we're humans. Because making mistakes and being alive go hand in hand. So please be kind to yourself when you're making mistakes. Please don't go into our old habit of, I should have done this and I should have done that and I should have known better. Try instead to practice thinking about all the things that you've been doing right. Why don't we put so much focus and energy on all the things we're doing right? Because we get a lot of things right. <laughs> that same gal I told you about, I believe her name is Mel Robbins, who does the high five, give yourself a high five in the morning. Um, she had a post the other day, and I shared it. If you follow on Instagram, you might have seen it. And she went to a conference, and when she got to the conference, she took her scarf off, and she realized she had her underneath shirt on inside out and backwards. And she said the old her would have freaked out. She would have worried about how many people saw it. But the new her was like, okay, no big deal. I put my jacket on right, I put my pants on right, put my underwear on right, put my shoes on right. <laughs> like, She went right into all the things she did right instead of hyper-focusing on the one thing she did wrong. So let's practice that. When we do make a mistake, say, hey, I'm human. Now that I know better, I'll do better. I'm allowed to make mistakes. I'm going to make more mistakes. And I've done a whole lot of things right today <laughs> and in this life, right? So my therapist gave me such an incredible insight last week. It was about people pleasing. I don't know if you know, but I'm a recovering people pleaser. I've been free of the blind spot for about four years. But being free of the blind spot doesn't mean that I still don't fall into some of the same old habits, the same potholes in the street that I used to fall into. It's, it's, um, it requires discipline. It requires noticing, right? That's where change can come from is when we notice, then we can apply change. People pleasing is actually really unfair to everybody involved. So what I would do is, is I would do everything I can do to make you happy. Everything I can do. I, I try to be the most perfect version of me I can be so that you will love me. But <laughs> it's not just so you will love me. It's also so that I can hold you to the same standard. So if I'm doing everything I can to please you, but you're not doing everything you can to please me, then I have a reason to become the victim. Then I'm like, oh, well, they're, they must not love me as much as I love them because they're not doing everything they can do to please me. So they're the bad guy and I'm the one that's just stuck not getting all the love I want and am desperate for. Do you see that? Do you see what's happening there? The reality is, is that it is not their job to do everything they can do to make us happy. And it's not our job to do everything we can do to make other people happy. That's where the deficit in thinking is. It's fine to do nice things for others. It's fine to want to put a smile on somebody's face, but it's not fine when it's coming from a place of lack of love, desperation for love, neediness. So there's extremes, right? We can be on one side of the scale or the other side of the scale, but we want to try to get into the center. So when I realized, oh my gosh, I've been doing that to everybody in my entire life. And I have pulled back on my expectations for others. I really have. I've, I've, people have brought that to my attention, like adjust your expectations. And I'm like, oh, okay, they're right. And I've done that. But this is a subconscious awareness. It's more insidious. It's deeper rooted and it really probably comes out more in our really close relationships, our romances, our family members, not so much with people on the outskirts. So now that I have this awareness, I take much more responsibility in my happiness. So when, let's say my partner is not doing everything he can do to make me happy, instead of my old ways of 
immediately deciding that he's not perfect for me. That's what I used to do. Instead of doing that, now I look at, wait a second, where is it in you that you're lacking? Where is that unhappiness coming from that you can get from you? That you don't need to depend on him or anybody else to fill that void. What's missing in you that you can fix it? You have control over. And I have to tell you, it is doing wonders for me. It's giving me a sense of power and control over my own life. I don't feel like a victim. I don't feel like I'm not getting what I should be getting from other people. That's like gone. I'm realizing what can I focus on in my own brain? What can I study in my own heart? How can I focus on my journey inside? Because every time we're focusing on what other people are doing wrong, that's a really easy way to ignore what we could be fixing in ourselves. Super interesting. <laughs> that was like the best thing that came out of my therapy session last week. I know we haven't talked about this in a while, the way we feel about our body. I used to focus on that a lot and I've gotten away from it, but yesterday somebody came in and it's been happening, you know, it's, it happens every single day of my career that women come in and they just don't feel good about themselves. So they really don't like anything I put on them because they just really don't like themselves. And I feel like I'm always like talking to a wall when I'm saying, well, you know, it's really not about how you feel about your actual body. It's really about what's going on up here. Nobody ever wants to hear that because it's way easier to stay in the comfort zone of familiarity, right? And what's familiar is the world tells me I should look like A, but I look like B. So it's really familiar and easy to fall back into, I suck because I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That is old, unhealthy thinking. That is giving power to the darkness when we should be giving power to our light. That doesn't mean that we don't acknowledge that we all have darkness and lightness inside of us. We do. But what are you going to give power to? What are you going to feed? Some of you think like, oh, Shauna, you'll never understand. You don't carry the weight that I carry. You don't have the butt that I have or the legs that I have or the boobs that I have. You don't understand. You'll never get it. Well, I have news for you. I don't care how thin or perfect or smooth or whatever it is that you think somebody else has that you don't. I guarantee you they're looking in that mirror. They don't like the texture of their skin. They don't like the shape of their belly. They feel like their torso should be longer. They feel like their knees should be less knobby. They don't like their big long toe. They don't like their hair. They think they should be more of this and less of that, just like you. When I'm standing in the mirror naked, I could so easily tear myself apart. It is only because I've been practicing healthy thoughts. It's only because I'm disciplined. It's only because I'm aware that I have a natural instinct to do that. So I have been disciplined and I have stood there in front of the mirror naked and I have said, I am so sorry, body, for all the times that I treated you like you weren't good enough. I'm so sorry for any time I said anything other than you are beautiful and I'm grateful for you. Because I promise you, you think in 10 or 50 pounds, then you're going to be more loving and nicer to your body. That's BS. It's not going to happen. You're still going to find something to pick apart. You're still going to put yourself down unless you take the opportunity right now, today, to start loving yourself and training yourself to love yourself. That's it. Because once you figure that out, then that challenge that's going to keep bubbling up to the surface, because it will, you're going to be ahead of it. You're going to be loving yourself already. You're going to be kind and gentle. And that is the mountaintop. That's really what you need. You just need to love yourself, forgive yourself, appreciate yourself in all of your glory today, not once you join the gym or once you get the outfit you like, none of that. Once you get the hair you like, none of that. 
You got to love yourself today, right now, the way you are. And that doesn't mean that you can't make efforts to change your physical appearance. If that's important to you, that can. And if you do see the changes that you like, that's just a bonus. But that's not the goal. The goal is figure out how to love yourself today, just the way you are up here and in here. And the rest will be so much easier to live with. I had a customer for years. She was one of my all time favorite customers and she was a two X. She used to come strutting through the door with so much confidence. And I used to say, man, she is the sexiest, most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And it had nothing to do with her size. It had to do with her confidence. It had to do with how much she loves herself despite what the world told her she should be or what her inner critic told her she should be. She overcame all of that and got down to the truth of who she was and what she brought to this world because your body is the least important thing about what you bring to this world. Even if you're like a trainer and that's what you do, you focus on bodies or if you're a model and that's what you do, it's still the least important thing you will bring to people in your life. It still has less to do with the impact that you're going to leave on all of the people whose lives you touch. So let's get centered on the truth. Let's get more in touch with who we really are and let's put importance on that. And if you do decide to come in and play dress up, I'm going to teach you how to dress your spirit, how to focus on who you are inside here and inside here and not worry so much on what you wish you could be out here. It's all a game. And if you're down and out about that, then you just don't understand the game. Discipline, focused thought, compassion. I hope you're being kind to yourself when you make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen, because how we treat ourselves is how we're gonna treat others. And one by one, starting with us, starting with you, starting with me, we will make this world a better place. One love. If it gets too dark.